So hi everyone, my name is Ge Lei. Today very happy to be here and present our work, Pentest GPT, Evaluating and Harnessing Large Language Models for Automated Penetration Testing. This work is primarily done by Nanyang Technological University, but also in collaboration with various of institutions and industrial partners, uh, primarily Singapore Agency for Science, Technology and Research, and also University of New South Wales. So since we have limited time today, I will briefly talk about what we are doing in this project. We present Pentest GPD, which is a large language model empowered penetration testing solution. It is fully open sourced on GitHub with around like 7,000 stars uh, currently. We also have full demo videos, a lot of documentations, design details are uh, all available online. We have constantly updated the features about the project. So if you're interested, feel free to go to the source code and see what we're doing. Uh, we also implemented Pentest GPT in various industrial partner systems. So if you're interested in this part, feel free to contact with me and we can talk about this later. But for today's uh, talk, we will mainly talk about what we are including in this manuscript, which is the main structure of Pentest GPT to perform end-to-end -end automatic penetration testing without human expert knowledge. It has the capabilities of exploit vulnerabilities and generate POCs, and also automatically generate the penetration testing reports. So firstly, let's talk a little bit about the background. We have penetration testing as one of the most widely used black box approach in the industry to identify vulnerabilities. The general procedure is quite simple. Uh, white hat hackers, or what we call the pen testers, just go to test the system with various kind of testing tools. They try to read the testing results and see if some of the findings reveal that there are certain vulnerable services on the system and just try to exploit those vulnerabilities. If they exploit the system, they will further do privilege escalation, try to capture the target system. But if failed to do so, they just go back to step one, try to test the system again with some other tools and repeat this process. Um, there are several drawbacks in this procedure, but one of the main challenges we see in the in industry is that the whole process really depends on the tester's domain knowledge, which means that different pen testers, when they see the same service or when they see the same even vulnerabilities, they will have different reactions. They will use different tools, they will try to interpret the results in different ways, and the problem realized here is that the pen test procedure is actually not reproducible. And we really need time to train pen testers to read all the different services and learn different knowledges on different systems. So we are thinking about whether it's possible to leverage large language models, essentially the expert knowledge within, to complete this process automatically. Previously, we also have some automated solutions based on reinforcement learning or other traditional uh, machine learning systems. But large language models just give us a new opportunity to explore all this domain. So the first thing we try to do in this work is to explore large language models capabilities on the task of penetration testing. Essentially, we apply a human in a loop test procedure without the human expert knowledge. So you can see in the underlying figure here, uh, essentially, the human experts just try to provide the penetration, team, penetration testing go to the large language model to say that, hey, I want to test this IP, this system. And then the large language model will generate the operations to perform and tell the tester to say that, hey, the first step, you need to perform maybe MMAP to scan the services. And the human tester will just simply follow this without giving any personal feedbacks. So once the command is fit into the testing environment, he will naturally receive the testing outputs, and he just like input this testing outputs back to the large language model, and for the large language model to think about the next step. So this is the human in the loop procedure to primarily uh, conduct large language model based uh, pen testing without human intrusion. So we create a system of benchmark consisted of real world penetration testing targets primarily from those real pen tester platforms, for example, Hack the Box, Runhub, and conduct these experiments on different large language models, including GPT 3.5, GPT 4, and BART, uh, now Gemini. So we have three primary study findings. The first one is that large language models can actually use the pen testing tools quite nicely, including those traditional ones, for example, NMAP, Burp Suit, or Metasploit. 
The second part is that large language models struggle to maintain long-term memory, which is quite typical because at that time, all, almost all the large language models have very limited token size, typically 4,000 or 8,000 for GPT-3.5 uh, GPT and GPT-4. And one of the last issues that is most important here we see is that large language models prefer recent tasks. So when you're trying to communicate with a large language model, the model seems to prefer to over-focus on the most recent conversation. So even if you tell the large language model that, hey, some of the services are vulnerable, after rounds of interaction, the large language model will simply forget about the previous service and forgot to exploit them. So seeing those drawbacks of the traditional large language models, we try to build a system based on the agent-based design to overcome, this uh, overcome these drawbacks. And our main, uh, I would say, our main design rationale is to mimic a real-world penetration testing team where you have a pen test leader and a bunch of pen testers. So the leader will not actually conduct the pen testing task, but just try to understand uh, what is the target service? What are the different services on this target system? And what are the potential vulnerabilities? And then he will assign the task to the different pen testers. The pen testers, however, will just focus on one particular service, try to generate the detailed uh, command to do so, and try to exploit vulnerability. In particular, we have three key modules here. The first one is a passing module, which is try to overcome the token limit, the token length limit, uh, within the large language models. The second part is a reasoning module, which is to mimic the penetration tester in the team, uh, penetration test lead, leader in the team to, uh, to like conduct the high level reasoning within the pen test task. The third part, the generation module, just do the detailed task generation and try to reduce hallucination to mimic the actual pen testers. So the first part, we have the passing module, one of the main issues we see here is that all the different test tools, they will generate very long test results. And if you just input this whole result into the large language model, yearly it will just overfit the token limit. So we just build a model to reduce the token length and only condense those uh, key information within the test results. The second part is we have a reasoning module where we keep the high level information in the penetration testing tree so you can see it's an abstract tree structure uh, highlighted in the natural language format. Uh, we have more details in the paper. But generally, this reasoning module will just try to analyze the condensed information from the previous module, update the tree, and do the reasoning to see that based on the current tree structure, what is the next step to take in order to get the most valuable step from the next pen testing procedure. The third part is about the generation module. So after the reasoning module generates one particular task to execute, this generation module will actually generate the commands for the pen testers to follow. Uh, it's quite straightforward, generate the command, and followed by that, the human pen testers can actually execute this command in the testing environment, get the results, and just feedback to the parsing module to complete the whole process. This procedure will run until the target system is compromised, or the whole reasoning, system, reasoning module uh, enumerate all the different tree branches in the system. And as a result, the net large language model cannot really complete the pen test procedure. A highlight on the performance of pen test GPT, uh, compared to the plan models, like we use the GPT 3.5 and GPT 4 directly, our system has an increase of more than 200% in the benchmark targets on vulnerability capturing. We resolved four of the 10 machines on Hack the Box. At that time, they were public, but there's no solution online, so they are open challenges. With a total cost of $131. So these are the total costs on the 10 targets in total, and we complete four of them. Also, we tried to run Pentest GPD on Pico Mini CDF 2022, which is already open source, but in the end, we scored 1,500 1, um, among the possible 4,200, 4, ranking 24th among the 240, uh, 248 teams. Um, so basically, that's all of the presentation. I uh, welcome all the questions. Thank you so much.